Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our Timberborn series. So today's episode's focus is going to be terraforming. For that we are going to need the dirt excavator. And as you can see in the background I've put in a bit of a blueprint already how I think we would like the things to be uh, set out. I haven't quite unlocked the dirt pile yet but we've got plenty of science points in the in the store right now so everything should be good we've got a terraforming station as well you're gonna take a little bit and then the terrain blocks so yeah we're definitely gonna have enough for everything right so our battery bank is doing pretty good uh overall i've kind of monitored the setup for for a bit of time and even when the wind dies out it doesn't look like we're consuming enough power to have the batteries drop even past the first set of uh, platforms over here. But we'll see. Once we activate some other things, perhaps this will change. All right, so you can be paused. A uh, couple of things that I'm also trying to do whilst we are setting this up is I want to make this area a little bit more green. So for that, we have queued up a few levees. Let's do one, one more over there. And with the rest, once they're built and the rainy season is set to start very soon as well. So then we can uh, green it all up. Okay, so the last dam or the reservoir is going pretty well. Just a few levees left. Lovely. Let's move over to our newest addition. You guys are... How did you build this one? Oh, from the top. Okay. Yep, everything's fine. And you should be harvesting these. Once they're done, we can put the levees in there. Same with this section as well. Are oh, you digging the furthest trees right now? Okay, everything's fine. We still have a bit of water left in here as well. Just over a tile and with 2.5 days left. Yeah, everything is looking pretty lovely here. Farming setup is looking good as well. We've got some trees growing now, and I don't think we need the forester anymore. But we are going to leave it in place for the for the time being, at least. Um, all right, I was planning to put in some beehive beehives as well, but we are going to need to transport some paper and blanks over. It's not really a priority just yet because all these fields on both sides of the riverbank are actually, you know, we haven't harvested them yet. Okay, I have also tidied up this a little bit. A few more trees growing and a bit more wheat as well. Uh, I guess we could also do a bit more down there. I don't really need to harvest it all. I kind of just wanted to fill this hill with some stuff. Actually, never mind. Let's, let's do a, a few more hills just like so. I just want this area to look like it's busy. If that makes sense, yeah. Okay, we can do a couple more. I think up until here is fine, right? Yeah, okay. And maybe just a few more here. The rest of them could be could be even trees. Uh, right, you are almost done harvesting those trees, so we can we can leave you be as well. So this means let's jump back. Uh, okay, we've got a few dynamites done. I just really wanted to connect them, those two separate pools up a little bit. Okay, there's another one, and off you go. All right, let's get back to terraforming over here. Right, to build these, we are going to need quite a bit of metal, and with some other construction projects as well, it just seems we don't have a huge stockpile of metal right now. So... This is the reason why I have queued up a few little tasks for our beavers. Let's try and increase our production. We should have yeah, enough resources to slowly build it up and then we can you know stress test our gravity batteries as well. Okay, we should have quite a few construction beavers and pots in this district as well, so they should be able to connect or build everything rather quickly. 
Right, another thing. So how does this power get to here? We have power shafts using the first set of levees that we built before. I did relocate the ladder shaft that we had. So this is now right at the front here. And then I deleted the old one just to make, make a bit of space for our power connection unit. And in here as well, I was hoping to connect it directly, but then it would have meant I would have had to delete pretty much everything in here and that would have taken quite a bit of time so I was like uh never mind we are just gonna go around a little bit so it's a bit messy but it's fine it works and what should be the higher priority probably sending power through all right and then this one gets built have you built anything just yet no we should have res resources right have a look blanks 171 so that's good gears tons of it uh same with treated blanks and metal 55 as well overall metal okay it seems everything is in this district in here once we get one of them running i think we probably can stop sending you over right yeah all right let's have a look we've got a couple more columns as well which district are you guys in oh the first one right okay two over here hmm uh, that's fine we are probably gonna send those spare columns to our forestry district I would like you to take this tree out next that would be lovely if you get those two out from there and you oh wait a second we still have one link in here that we can't quite reach. Uh, so what can we do? We can do this, have it built, and that should be ready in no time as well. All right, we'll uh, keep it at two times the speed. Uh, what else? I am kind of trying to figure out how and what we want to start building here. So bigger storages are needed to uh, hold a few extra or a few more resources for our production lines. I mean, I guess we could do it with the smaller ones as well, but it would be lovely if we get this one full. Uh, we got roofs in here, which I don't want to delete. I want to leave them in there. So, okay, what can we do? I think you're going to have to go. We shall demolish you. Probably want to empty you as well to make a bit more space for our lovely sunflowers. Okay, you're full of everything as well. Well, that's fine. And then um, what we shall do... Okay, a couple of platforms. You can move out of the way. And let's see. We are going to need the storage. You're going to go there. Pause it. All right. So now we can put a grill on this side. It would actually be great if we can do one on the other side as well. That means we definitely need that space nice and empty. Okay, another large warehouse. Oh, we don't have space, so we could move these two over. We could. But at the same time... <laughs> now, a couple of trees would be lovely here. Uh, let's do it a little bit differently then. In case we... Let's see how... <laughs> right, let's do it this way. We are now decided. Uh, pause you for a second. We need the roads definitely to go this far. Okay, you can go there. Ah, uh, wait a second. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, everything's good. Okay. So you should probably hold raw potatoes. All right, lovely. And this one... <laughs> anything else that needs to be cooked up maybe we just put flour with flour in this one yeah right now next to the bakeries that should be fine and i guess the final question is how are the beavers gonna get up here uh -huh -huh. right a few more platforms are are needed let's do a couple here we'll keep it simple just like so a few grills as well now, access-wise, I think 
this makes a bit more sense. Yeah. Okay, because here we can do some other decorations as well. Uh, climbing up is a bit more difficult. But we can solve it with a ladder just like so. And there we go. Roads as well. Let's have you built first. And if we look at the decorations, let's do a shrub. Right like so. Okay. Yep, that's gonna look lovely. Let's do one side first. I mean, they are gonna take quite a few blanks. 80. Yeah, we don't have that many spare blanks right now. But let's have a look over here. Is our first one. You are not operational. Okay. Uh, to change it into columns. I say worth it. Power is coming in. Yes, it is. How many is coming through in total? Okay, we got a bit of an excess there. Uh, right. Okay, there we go. Should all also probably have some storages a little bit closer to us. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what kind of layout do we want to have in this area. So we will make it messy. We'll keep it simple. And... Okay, scrap metal. Here you go. Let's have it built as quick as we can. Uh, right, so this link is done. We're going to have to build you and you to pass the power through. Okay, slightly higher priorities in these sections as well. You are going to be the next one. And we shall also have a column working in this smelter. All right. There we go. Next level, let's see. Metal blocks, 50. 3D planks, 100. I guess we could do the first one. Or at least unpause you. Uh, yeah. Rainy season starts now. So if we start digging, that's going to give us a bit more space in here in the water. I mean, eventually we are going to... Well, depends how long this rainy season is, of course. Let's keep it at two times the speed. Triple speed is a little too fast for us. Okay, what can you not get? Logs. What do you mean? Oh. Okay, no good. That is no good. How many resources are being transported here? <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> what shall we do? How many spare, spare workers do you have? Okay, you have a spare column, but no beaver staff. You've got 24 children, though. Okay. So I think metal can now come off. And let's add logs in here. I mean, we do have tons of it. Ah, uh, wait. Did I? Oh, yeah. Okay, bit of a mistake. That's all right. We'll fix you up right away. Box, here you go. All right. How many do we have? We got 2,000 in our district one. Yeah, all these piles are pretty, pretty full. And this one is being emptied as well. So, yeah, let's start sending them over. Uh, nothing to do in range. What do you mean? Oh, I see. So you're pretty much done now. Unpause these sections. I believe water is now coming as well. Alright, they got the last link done, which is very lovely. And let's see what happens here. We have three or oh, two tabs in here, so we don't actually need to replace it. Let's uh, close you up again and see what happens. Okay, so this side is fine. You are flooding, but we do know why. Okay, let's give you a slightly higher priority. All right, beautiful. How far can you can you go? Oh, there really is nothing to do. Um, if we give you access down through here, we could also get rid of all the older older trees in this section, right? Okay, there we go. I'm sure you'll reach those trees in no time. How's our automated water drop-off going here? 
Okay, everything is closed just like it needs to be. Very lovely. And let's have a look over here as well. Right, so we are producing some metal. Can't believe our log situation has dropped so low. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. I did build an extra few lumber mills as well. So this one here is an extra one and these two as well because we moved the house and the, the hauling post over here. Okay, gears is getting pretty low actually. Let's open you up as well. Uh, right, we are probably going to need some more beavers soon. And let's bring over the last column as well. Alright, there we go. Last one is sent over. Uh, oh, okay. The ex excavator is now, now online and you've taken four of our bots in this one. Okay, we are definitely going to need some more yeah, columns working for us. Um, blanks, how many blanks do we have? Okay, tons. So perhaps we can construct you as well. We are going to need some more columns in, in this district, so... Okay, you got two in here. You're complaining that you have absolutely nothing to do. Uh, right, so maybe we shall send one of you away. Yep, go to forestry. Alright, and we still have a spare one somewhere. Oh, okay, they must have constructed another one. Okay, one more, lovely. Any more spare golems anywhere? Right, none in here. We also have, well, got 5,200 science points. We are going to need them for some terraforming. But I also really want to reach 10,000 so we could put columns in the assemblers as well. I think in the long term... Uh, what our plan is, is to actually move the column factory into into this district here. Yeah, that would make a lot more sense. Let's check the batteries as well. Oh, still up there. Although our supply is a little under demand right now. Okay. Uh, let's hide the water. That's pretty cool. Have you removed any blocks? Okay, I think he's done a couple over here. Right. How much dirt do you have? Quite a quite a few already. So that means uh, we're going to have to store you somewhere, right? But there's absolutely no space in here. And you are ground only as well, which is a little bit annoying. Alright, if we take those trees out, maybe we can place you on this corner here. Uh, yep, we should be fine. We might just need a few more platforms. Maybe here is fine. Okay, there we go. You're almost full. Oh, yes, you are. Alright, hurry up, beavers. We need the dirt pile operational, operational right now. Okay. Uh, metal blocks 25, blanks 100. Oh, dear. Okay, we got 64. Does that help? Um... Maybe we slow down the operations here. And if we can have... Oh, we can do one more dirt, dirt pile right over there, though. Yeah, that might be fine. And the next thing we need after that is the terraforming station. So quite a few un... Or treated planks, I mean. And 30 metal, which is being produced in that one there. Yep. Bit of a bottleneck now. Don't have many planks left in here because we actually we got the planks here already, which is fine. Gears as well. Scrap metal should be in very soon. And then yeah, we just have to wait for the planks to be constructed. Uh, batteries still full, it seems. Very interesting. I wonder if they're oh they are moving. Ever so slightly. But they're definitely dropping now. You've still got nothing to do in your range. Okay. Um, <laughs> how about we move you over there. Pause you for a second. And get this done. Slightly higher priority. Beautiful. 
Right, we got a spare golem again. We shall send you in here as well. Yep, District 1. Off you go. And how many? Alright, we got two for the columns. You are full. So we'll pause you for a second. Okay, go and work somewhere else whilst we wait for the blanks. And you are waiting for scrap metal. It's literally... It is not here. Okay, fine. Yeah, I think we're gonna... Hmm, gears are fine. They're still slowly going down. I think in the last episode we were... Sitting at something like 360. Probably have to ramp up the treated blanks a little bit as well. Uh, I mean, once we fill up the last four... Seats in there. Uh, right now, two of them are still paused. What do you take? You take pine resin and planks. Oh, yeah. Uh, right, right, right. No more metal, it seems. But at least we are starting to get a few more logs, thanks to the distribution center there. Someone, someone's out of fuel. Oh, okay. You'll be fine. And you've got nothing to do as well, so we shall pause you for for this little while. Oh, you can't reach there. Okay, fine. And with you, if we place this just like so, we can finally push the water. Uh, wait a second. Do we want to dynamite our way down a little bit here? I think we all know the answer to that one. Alright, we'll do... Just a couple of levels. Alright, how far are we now? A little bit of metal is what we are waiting for. So what's the bottleneck right now? Oh, we are sending all of our scrap metal out. Um, right, let's um, change this around a little bit. Where is scrap metal? Uh, right here. So we don't want to keep... 100 let's say 25 should be plenty because right now you have oh yeah 96 so don't send any more scrap metal overseas right now we do want it here so that we can produce metal okay there we go we've just produced oh that's scrap metal right just three more come on guys oh Wait. Ah, uh, no, we're good. Oh, we're getting flooded a little bit. Oh, yes, we are. How come? Not sure. Well, you look at that. That is very lovely. What we might even do... I don't know if it's worth it. We could even place one over here so we could save how thousands of of explosives talking about explosives why don't we oh that's gone this section this one that one all right beautiful and now it's all done uh, just let this corner here as well all right drought seems to be starting in about three days Unfortunately, the rainy season doesn't seem to be lasting very long. Okay, just one more metal block and then we're good. One of you is going to produce it. Right. Um, <laughs> batteries seem to be fully charged again. Ah, uh, no, they're dropping now. Since our blank numbers seem to be going up again, I think we can build another b battery just like so over there okay that will be good and then we shall see they can still walk through those are not needed uh, let's grab you and which way oh wrong way come on where did you go oh no okay seems like we have a bit of a problem here I guess there might have been a slight miscalculation that means we don't need this platform there. Oh, we actually do need it. 
Because we are going to have to pass the... Yeah, power through as well. Uh, is that right? Yep. On the corner. And off you go. We do have the third pile now, which means you can be resumed. And once we do get a bit more metal here, we shall start constructing you gears. Oh, uh, yeah, we are going to run low on them. Same with 3D planks, actually. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Well, what we can do is detonate this one, highest priority. Let's get this done before the drought starts. Uh, bring the water back up. And let's see. Okay. Wait. That's not good. Not good at all. Um, hmm, <laughs> hmm. Okay, at least it's going the right way. Not entirely sure what happened here. I wonder if it's the excavator that's causing some problems now. Because until we built it, everything seemed, seemed to be working pretty nicely here. Uh, yeah, everything's getting flooded. This one is looking very awkward. And you are going to shut down pretty much everything. Hmm. So maybe we do have to put another dam back in here. Oh, actually what we can do. Let's um, change you up a little bit. Do we want access? We might want access in the future. Yep. So let's, um, let's build you. And then a platform here, just like so. Alright, please get this built as quick as you can. And let's take a look. That should save us, right? Alright, much better. And what about this in here? Yep. And it's still letting the water flow through as well, which is wonderful. So it has to be this excavator that's causing some problems that is my be best uh, guess at least how much can you store okay only 300 actually so what we what we can do is if we would like to build another one they are pretty pricey though 25 metal and 100 planks yeah and we still owe 200 treated planks Oof. That is very painful. Wait a second, before the trout starts, let's get the this one done here as well. Pretty expensive to get this built, and hmm, this is fine. 30, 200. Let's unlock you, let's have a look at what does it look like. Oh wow, 3 by 3 Quite big as well. But fortunately, it doesn't have to be on the ground, so that's good. Um, yeah, so metal production, that should pick up pretty soon. Batteries, oh, that's the lowest I've seen them go. Oh dear, that's all flooded now. Well, everything, no, it is flooded. Yep, I was just about to say that it seems it is operational, but no, it is not. Um, once this, oh, this is built now, height 0 0.5, and everything seems to be holding up pretty nicely. Let's delete you. There we go. Water's flowing through. Everything shall be nice and green. Uh, right. So with the dirt, what I'd like to do... I'd like to start building up this area a little bit. Maybe even here as well. Uh, so that way we can start building... Or creating like a little platform or plateau for us. To start doing some bigger builds up on the hill as well. Something else I have been thinking with our construction plans uh, right there. What I would like to do is, I'd like to dig this a little bit deeper and let the water run essentially underneath the city. That could be pretty cool as well. Also, on the plus side, what this means is it's going to allow us to store a whole bunch more water in this area. I think once we have the spare, what is it, the science points, 
I like to go into the metal floodgates and all the way up to level 10, 7200. That's pretty expensive though. And maybe we might even want to build this up a little bit, but I don't want it to sort of stick out and look like a really awkward reservoir. So if we raise the reservoir, we kind of have to raise everything else around it as well. And then another thing I'd like to do is all those levees you see around here. Of course, if we have enough time, I'd like to uh, change those levees with the dirt blocks. Yeah, that would be lovely. So basically, I just want everything to look n as natural as possible. Um, no beaver made stuff in here and maybe even with these levees as well would be pretty cool if it just looks like usual terrain. Uh, I mean, I am assuming, I think they do look just like the other terrain. Uh, I guess we will find out. Anyways, okay, we have definitely achieved our goals in this episode, so that's going very nicely. Metals being produced, same with the dirt. We've got some plans as well, and uh, we shall start building in the next episode, hopefully. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.